Hello everybody and welcome along to some more Airships Conquer the Skies. Sorry for my long hiatus, but I've been incredibly busy and with work and with my personal life and other things like that. So I, I, I do apologise, but um, hopefully today uh, we got you know we, we can make up for that. I've, I've got a new uh, actually I've got a new um, uh, mod installed today, uh, recommended to me by uh, Peter Meehan. I believe he's the creator of the pack, and it's called the PAV Ship Pack, or AKA. AKA, sorry, the Peculiar Air Vessels Land Ships Pack. Uh, which, you know, it, 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 it's quite cool. I mean, he recommended it to me, and, and I think I'm his first subscriber, which is, you know, it's awesome. It's nice to see some new, uh, new stuff coming along. And yeah, so basically, at the moment, uh, I have the uh, POV Ship Pack, also with the Cataclystic Expansion Pack as well. So hopefully they'll work well together. I'm sure they will. Um, but I, I'm just going to start off here today. I've got the uh, I've got the the, the uh, airship builder up. I'm going to have a look, look through what what different things we've got on the airships. Do a quick sort of 15 minutes or so, and hopefully it will come together nicely. Um, so let's have a quick look through some of these uh, different things they've got. First of all, so one of the first first things I, I noticed was this anal analytical battle engine. Now I'm pretty sure this is quite new. However, I'm not really sure what it does. It says, a marvellous machine capable of uh, calculus syntax can be taught to decide on uh, parameters. Hmm? On parameters? Not what that is. And is even able to, to be used in making music. Wow. And of course, what do you, uh, what do, you do? You, you program it for war. So it's some kind of battle engine you can use. I believe that might, be in, that might improve. So it's quite heavy. Well, it's reasonably heavy. It's got 850 uh, hit points and provides 10 command. Okay, so it, it basically improves your kind of capabilities uh, for cockpits or, you know, um, those kind of things uh, to, to, to command the actual vessels, which is, you know, that's that's pretty cool, really. Um, and it require, requires a unit of coal every 20 seconds, increases weapon accuracy by 5%. Oh, that's pretty cool. And recommended crew is 2. So... Last time on the on on my uh, playthrough, I, I did some uh, I did some builds of a couple of ships. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to build something today. I'll just have a quick look through, and then I'm going to try to do another sort of playthrough later on in the week with you know some of the new stuff that I've got and things like that. But anyway, um, let's have a quick let's have a, let's have keep on looking down. I think I think some of these. Uh, I've already had like telescope. What does a telescope telescope do? Uh, it says, equipped with a telescope, a spotter can direct the fire of the ship's weapons. So, um, it increases the accuracy by 30%. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so these I think we've seen already. Let's try and have a look. Delta weapons. That looks pretty new. So, requires bonus Gatling guns. Okay, damage blast 3, piercing uh, damage 12. Well, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, and it's got... Let's have, a, let's have a look, see what it looks like. Oh, so this kind of thing would be the sort of thing you can place at the front of the ship. And this one at the back of the ship, for example. Okay. Now, neither of those are, are, are going to be okay to work at the moment. And you've got different caliber guns as well. That's pretty cool. So you can put one like this. One like so. No, none of these are really working at the moment, but that's fine. Just getting them out to have a quick look. Oh, look at this. What's this? It's a three-pound cannon. So I think this is all from the new mod, actually. The new... Um, um, uh, what's it called? The PAV mod. <laughs> so these look pretty interesting. Uh, wow, look at this. Whoa. So you've got... That's the, they're the three-pound cannons. You've got an 80-millimeter uh, uh, cannon here. Small cannon placed... In the hull of a ship can rotate 360 degrees. Wow. So maybe you'd put that underneath sort of thing. So you could put that at the bottom like that. And I know these aren't, aren't working right now. But, uh, oh my goodness, what's this? An electric cannon. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Wow. That's pretty cool. And something like this as well. So... At the moment, none of these are actually going to be heavy, Gat heavy Gatling gun. That's pretty cool. Wow, look at this. It's a pulse. It looks very, it looks very similar to the um, electric rifle, but it's it's slightly different color. And you've got hull rockets as well. Now, what does the hull rocket say? 
says it, I, I need I, I require a mod for that which oh, okay never mind we'll leave that then um, you got pulse rifles rocket pods you can put a rocket pod on top of the ship like so uh, suspendium bombay so I wonder what this is a much larger bombay with a payload powered by suspendium okay uh, that means a big boom also it's got like a so the suspendium actually will Oh, that's interesting. Maybe not quite now. Suspendium nuke. What? <laughs> well, I'm going to have to use one of these. I'm just going to have to see what it does. What's this? A, a suspendium nuke launcher. So you can launch a nuke off the front as well. This might be a bit of overkill. But we'll see what happens. And a Tesla cannon. My goodness. Wow, will you look at that? That is pretty cool. Try Tesla cannon. Front and reverse. Let's put one of these on the back. Now, I know what you're thinking. All of these uh, weapons are pretty cool, but they're not going to do anything unless I actually kind of put them into some kind of cohesive order. So at the moment, this is just kind of, you know, nothing really, is it? So um, uh, where was I? I was in uh, Delta Weapons. So we've got some autonomous guns as well. Wow, look at these stuff. So you've got an automated cannon. Uh, requires bo uh, bonus living machines. Hmm. Uh, a modified deck gun for uh, use of a mainstay, for use as a mainstay cannon type. Well, that's pretty cool. So it's uh, maintenance is seven. Uh, pi piercing damage is forty. Reload time is three seconds. It's got a ninety degrees uh, uh, firing arc, which is you know it's pretty cool. Uh, maximum accurate range is a thousand meters. And oh, yeah, it's, there's so many. What's this DARS here? Add this module to fix an issue with your design. So it requires a living machines. Drone autom automated ammo uh, uh, routing system. This drone component compensates for drone weapons. Hmm. Okay. Um, there's so many cool things. Here. Heavy automated cannon. Wow, that's pretty cool. Electra, uh, what's it say? Electric suspendium chamber. Uh, a suspendium crystal powered by air flowing past the centrifugal sail, keeping the ship afloat in the same way natural islands would, but more effectively. Hmm. So, ah, so you could put this in, it's like a suspendium kind of uh, block, as it were. Oh, that's interesting. So, the commerce stuff, my goodness, what in the world is this? Shipbound city. Uh, this pie in the sky is a home for some of the more ent entrepreneurial citizens in your empire. The city has a self-contained water system, but lacks the ability to grow food, except for, except for some small plant pots. Well done. Uh, as such, um, the empire that decides to build this massive wonder has to have a decent amount of its land allocated to food. Uh, production generates ten thousand. Oh goodness, ten thousand uh, dollars. Appearance a WIP. Mm. Not really sure. Okay, trash large. Okay, that's just silly. I get it that production produces waste, but this is just going overboard. And did you really have to import it from other cities to exchange it for money? Right. Okay, so that's just kind of some extra stuff you can do. Dust collector. Oh, that's pretty cool. Floating island pieces. Oh, so you can build... Ah, because I remember, I think on this one you can build some kind of floating islands. Um, branches and leaves. So these are ways to sort of design floating islands of some kind. Uh, and I'm not really sure if they do much apart from just scenery. I might be wrong. If somebody can, uh, you know, uh, correct me on that, please do. Um, and these are... Sort of crystal, a large chunk of crystalline ore. Sorry, a large chunk of stone containing suspendium geodes, keeping islets aloft by the wind itself, formed centuries ago by ancient volcanic and tectonic processes. Wow. Okay. So there's some more stuff here. I think some of this stuff we already had. We've already seen troops, arachnid barracks. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, Mexu Bay. 
so you can build mechs and stuff and you've got spider bay uh things like that i did see actually recently that david stark posted that he tried to make the um the land the the, uh, the landing ships a little bit less op because people were complaining about that so even though these troops are pretty cool we'd have to sort of uh, build a specific thing that for that at a different point i think um yeah these are all some of the what the hell is this underhang so these are some of the smaller unit type things that you can put together. Um, WF modules. Yeah, we've seen a lot of these in the last one we did. Uh, structures decorative. So these are just things to make your stuff look better. They don't actually do anything by the looks of things, but that's cool. You can, you know, add some bits on. Structures for decks. So you can, you know, make your stuff look a, uh, a little bit a little bit fancier in different ways, like with these girders and things like that. Um, talking about th making things look a little bit fancier in different ways. These are structures fancy. <laughs> kind of the same as the girders, but uh, yeah. And wooden struts. I think we've seen a lot of these. So let, let's try and let's try and see if we can put something together with what we've got on the screen here now. Uh, so now what well, let's start at the top this ship has several disconnected parts that's fine the ship is too heavy to, to fly so we need to put some lift in let's do this quickly uh where are we so lift 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 here we go lift okay so let's put one of these bad boys in it needs well we can do that for now like that it won't let me it won't let me put anything anywhere <laughs> okay so let's put this let's put this here for now and then we can always fill it around a little bit. Okay, so let's keep, no, I want it to keep that and then right click there. Okay, so can we not put you, can we put you there? So we want to keep the nuke bait, right. Now at the front, I want to put one of these defray things. They look pretty cool. Um, and we want to keep the Gatling gun, but I'm going to put that closer to the front there and then we can put some stuff inside of it and things like that. Now, can we put this? No, we can't, we can't put that there either. So maybe we put one like this and two like that. Now, uh, let's put this on the back, but maybe give it a little bit of room in there so we can try and put some cool stuff inside and things like that. And we've got two of those at the front. So what was this? This was something a bit different, wasn't it? So we could maybe pop this along the top like that. It gives a bit more room in the middle to put some extra stuff if we want. Now, what was this? Oh, this was one of the three pound uh, guns that looked pretty cool. But we might want to put one on the front as opposed to the back because, well, you know, why not? It gives us more, uh, more, more opportunities to shoot things. Um, now this thing here, it does look pretty cool. What is that Tesla cannon? So where was the Tesla cannon? That was in the uh, the Delta weapons, wasn't it? So Tesla cannon, Tesla cannon, Tesla cannon, Tesla cannon. Here we go. Suspendium nuke. Okay, let's put one of these on the back here. Now, let's try and fill this up with some stuff in the middle and see what happens. So get rid of that. We're just going to remove the modules. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then can we uh, can we move a bit closer? There we go. Right, so it looks a bit higgledy piggledy at the moment, but that's okay. Let's try and put some stuff in that we need quickly. So now... Uh, Several disconnected parts, yep. No propulsion, so we're going to need to put some kind of propulsion in. So, where is propulsion? Uh, here we go, propulsion, right. Ooh, what does this do? Container, da -da -da. Oh, maybe we could put an engine pod on somewhere. We put an engine pod on like that. But that doesn't quite like that for some reason. Maybe can we put it at the front here? Is that going to be better? No, how about underneath? No, it doesn't like that either. Or is it like that? Okay, well, let's put it here and see if we can fiddle around with that in a moment. Um, okay, so the propulsion, a ship has no coal. Right, so resources. Let's get some coal stores in here. Uh, where are we going to put these things? Can we get some kind of medium coal stores? Um, hmm. Not by the looks of things. We're going to need to put, we're going to need to try and cram some coal stores in some. How about we move this all forwards? one like so that might help us with the propulsion as well i mean this is going to be pretty slow this thing but never mind now let's get some coal stores in here so one two coal stores because we need quite a bit of coal this ship has no ammunition as well so 
Let's get some ammo stores in here, shall we? One. Um, ammo vault. Highly secure vault for containing ammo safely. Oh, that's pretty interesting. But I don't think it has as much as the big ammo store. But we can't even seem to squeeze one of these in unless we move all of this yet again forward one. It's going to make it a bit bigger, but that doesn't matter. Now let's move not that one, that one. That's right, like that. And then we can put a... Where was it? I don't want a machine shop. I want a big ammo store. Will this squeeze in there nicely? There we go. The ship has no crew. So let's go for that one now. Where is it? It's right at the top somewhere. Command and crew. So can we squeeze an analytic computer? No, we cannot. Because we were going to put one of those in, but we kind of got sidetracked uh, with other things. Now, unless... Unless this kind of stuff at the back is a little bit of overkill, because I've got kind of two nukes on this. <laughs> Maybe I could just take the bottom nuke off and have the top nuke on. And then I could put this... So yeah, if I get rid of that and just go, no, thank you. Nope, I didn't want to do that either. Never mind. Um, so where was it? It was in the uh, Delta weapons. It was a Tesla, 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 Tesla. There we go. So is there any way they can get one facing down? Tesla cannon. Where's this one go? It goes that way. Uh, okay, let's put this here like this. Okay, now we can move this one over a touch like that. This one over to there. Then we've got a bit more room around here, maybe for some kind of protection and things like that. Now we've already got a, nucle uh, a suspendium nuke launcher up here. So we don't need to have one on the bottom because that was getting a bit too crazy. So. Uh, we need to put some extra crew in. So where was it? Command and crew. I wanted to put one of these in because it's new and it looks quite interesting. Then we want to get some kind of a bridge. Is there a vertical bridge or anything like that we can put in? Uh, can we move this forward and squeeze it in there? No. Uh, large bridge, large quarters. We're going to need to put some kind of something in there. Targeting computer. Uh, let's put some quarters in. How about we put some in the quarters in the on the back like so? There we go. Now, has it got enough? Where's its crew? Let's have a look. Recommended crew forty one. Air service is forty eight. So that's apparently this one can't go there. So for some reason, that's a bit strange. Why can't that go there? Well, I don't know. I have no idea. How about a medium berth? Can we squeeze? Yeah, we can squeeze one in there. Can we put that one in? No, it doesn't like that either. Um, mm, so we're still 10 short. How about a large quarters? Oh, that works. There we go. Now we've got uh, too many air sailors, so we can take one of these out. <laughs> uh, like that. And then we can put some other things in. What else do we need? The ship modules are not mutually accessible. The ship needs more supply hatches. So. So let's get some more uh, supply in. Where are we going to get that from? Resources, I believe. So, uh, ammo vault, cargo door. Maybe we could squeeze a big cargo door. Now, we need to try and connect all these bits up somehow. So, um, for today, though, I think I'm going to save this design. And I'm going to call it Last Rites. That's pretty good, actually, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to do some pretty damn damage. I'm going to call it the TFC Last Rites, though, just because, you know, I'm a bit uh, a bit big-headed like that. <laughs> so the Tenderfoot Chief, Last... Su I'm going to call it the Last... No, maybe not the Last Supper. Last Rites. Okay, and then let's save this there. Okay, this is just a quick sort of playthrough to get to grips of the new the new mod. I'm going to try and connect some of this up. Uh, and, and then what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of a play, a bit of a playthrough off screen because I still do have the uh, the saved uh, playthrough that I was doing with the previous mod and I, before I did all the, 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 the let's build and things like that. So hopefully within the next week or so, uh, if I can squeeze it in between other playthroughs and working and everything else, <laughs> uh, I, I will try and get another one of these out. If you like this video, please like, let me know, comment and, and, and give me some, just, some suggestions. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much for watching. It's always a pleasure to, to hear from you as well. So, uh, and yeah, thank you very much and I will see you next time.